Well, now that I'm free from death battle for a little bit, I should probably check up to see how the rest of the Versus community is holding up. Hmm, what's this? Oh hey, a video from my old friend Fanwar. I wonder how he's doing. Let's take a look. Many heroes strive to surpass their limits, to become the best of the best, but only a few can ever surpass their mortal limits, like these two, Saitama the One Punch Man, and Jiren the mortal who even the God of Destruction can't defeat. Jesus God! But now that I've been given another chance, I'm gonna do the one thing I've always dreamed of doing. I'm gonna jump off this building. God damn it, I thought you learned your lesson the last two times I talked about you fan war. Ugh. Okay, let's just get this over with. Hopefully I can get out with just a mild migraine. Fight! Well, talk about a head-on assault. Puns aside, it was clear Jiren and Saitama were pretty even in terms of strength and both could counter each other's immense speed. <laughs> you serious? My god, fan war. This is just terrible. Like, I am genuinely speechless here. How is it that I go on a hiatus from death battle, and yet I somehow manage to find something much worse than they could ever produce at their worst? Death battle trying could not make something this fucking terrible. I am going to be very real with you, fan war. This is fucking terrible. This is one of the worst things I've ever seen in my life. And considering that I have reviewed things like Naruto vs. Ichigo and Animation Rewind episodes, that's saying something. I don't even know where to begin. I guess I can begin with the thing I usually talk about, that being the matchup. What the fuck is up with this matchup? This is a fucking punchline, okay? 
I sent this fan war to many of my buddies in the Versus community, and they all thought that this was a meme, that this was a troll battle. They thought that you were fucking with them. But no, I had to tell them that fan war was dead fucking serious. You actually think that Saitama is a good match for Jiren. Are you fucking serious right now, fan war? Like, if this is a troll, then it's the best troll ever. However, I know that it's not because I have spoken and worked with this individual before, so I know he's not fucking around. I just, oh my god, so let me get this straight, fan war. Saitama, a guy who, while we may not know his full power, we do know that scaling based off of Boros, he is at the very least star level because of information given to us in the data book. You think that a guy who at best is at the very least star level or stronger is a match for Jiren, a guy who is universe level, and that's if you lowball him. At the lowest, he is universe level. But at the very least, he should be multiversal. And that's at the very least. He could be stronger. But he is at the very least multiversal because he is fourth dimensional. He is above the concept of time, something even you mention in your video, but yet you somehow come to the conclusion that no, this is a close fight, very close. Um, bullshit. Saitama would get absolutely obliterated by Jiren in one hit and before he could even fight back. He would get absolutely decimated. And the only thing as bad as this matchup is your pathetic excuse for a power scale, which we'll get to in a minute. But one more thing I want to say about this matchup, if your whole excuse for this matchup is, oh, there are two heroes that are the strongest in their universe, first off, that's highly debatable, especially in regards to Dragon Ball Z. Because whenever someone in Dragon Ball Z claims to be the strongest, they always get surpassed by someone, usually Goku. But there's usually always someone in Dragon Ball that is stronger than whoever claims to be the strongest. So even then, that basic bitch surface level comparison for why these two should fight doesn't fucking work, especially when you consider that Saitama is intended to be a parody character meant to mock characters like Goku and other Super Sentai or Battle Shonen type characters. That is the point of his existence. So, this is already a shit show, but none of that is as bad as your power scale. What the fuck? This wasn't even a power scale. You don't do any power scaling. You don't explain the character's strength. You barely go over their feats on the most basic level. You provide no calculations, nothing. As bad as Death Battle is, at the very least, Death Battle will provide calculations or some rationality to explain why they think this character is that strong when they feel like it. But you didn't even do that. All you do is you go over their backstory and then you go over their powers and their weaknesses and that's it. You mention their feats but you don't actually scale them. You just acknowledge their existence. You provide no basis for how strong these characters are or how strong you think that they are. Now, you allude to data books and statements that say, well, Saitama could destroy the planet if he wanted to, or he went to the moon and back, but even then, that's basic bitch stuff, and it doesn't give us much to go off of. You have to give us more to work with. And even then, your results are absolutely painful. You say that Saitama, 
a guy who you admit in your own video is planetary, even though that's a low ball, but let's go off of what you say in your video. You say that he's planetary. Jiren is a guy who at the very lowest can destroy a universe or scale to characters that can destroy universes. You even admitted that the god of destruction can't kill this guy. So you somehow come to the conclusion that Saitama and Jiren are equal in strength, but you also say that Saitama has greater durability. How? What, because he stopped the star-busting roaring cannon? Or because he took that meteor attack from Boros? Like, what is your logic here? You're not giving anything. Like, this is not even a power scale. You only give the most surface level of information. And your reason for why they should kill each other is stupid. So you say that, well, they're even in strength, but Jiren is faster and more strategic. That is absolute bullshit because realistically Jiren would completely one-shot Saitama. Saitama is barely on the level of Dragon Ball Z fodder. Okay, he is barely as powerful, he's barely stronger than the Bleach and Naruto universes. Just barely. And you're not gonna see me trying to throw Ichigo at fucking Jiren because Ichigo would get absolutely fucking obliterated. And yet, you somehow get it in your head that, oh, Saitama versus Jiren, that makes perfect sense. Like, this power scale is so bad, it is one of two things. This is either incompetence or you are being dishonest so that you can have these two characters fight each other. And if it's the second one, then fuck off with that. If you're going to lie just so you can have two characters fight each other, then that is bullshit. And you should be ashamed of yourself for that. That is what Death Battle does. Death Battle will lie. And people hate Death Battle for that. And you're going to stoop to their level. Now, I would much rather prefer this just being incompetence and you just don't know what you're doing. It would at least be better than you possibly being dishonest here. But even just... If it was just that, it would be bad enough. But it gets so much worse. The fight itself is terrible. Like, it is so fucking bad. Like, people, this is sprite animation at its absolute worst. Now, I know I get a lot of questions from my fans. Why do you criticize sprite animation or 2D animation so hard? It can be really good. While that is true that sprite animation and 2D animation can be absolutely impressive, I've never once claimed that sprite or 2D animation inherently is a bad thing. I've seen people do great stuff with it. But with this, this is just bad. There's no style, no fluidity, there is no impact behind the hits, the effects are shit, the... Sound effects are subpar and mostly just generic anime sound effects. An example of just how bad this is. Fan War had to take a clip from an anime, some anime that he watched on Kiss Anime. He took that clip and put it there because the guy couldn't animate a planet blowing up. Are you shitting me, Fan War? You mean to tell me that you can't animate a planet blowing up? Or you can't find a sprite sheet of that somewhere? I find that very highly unlikely. And if you couldn't do that, then why didn't you just enlist a sprite animator or artist to make one for you? Did you really have to take a clip from an anime? Like... That is just impressively bad. Like, in all my times of reviewing or just talking about death battles or versus debate content in general, I have never seen someone take a piece of animation 
from something else. Like, that's like something you see wannabe versus debaters do on YouTube, where they will take out-of-context clips of characters fighting from their anime and try to edit them together in such a way to where it looks like the characters are fighting. Like, you can actually look this up. It's a real thing. Why? Why do that? And if you are gonna do that, like, okay, maybe I sympathize with you. You're one guy, you don't have an animation team like Death Battle, okay, I sympathize with you. Could you at least not, could you at least just crop out the kiss anime part? And speaking of cropping, the cropping here, just like I criticized in Crash vs. Spyro, is garbage. Can you not crop these animations well? Why is that such a difficult thing to do? I know that you can do this because when I criticized Crash vs. Spyro, you quickly fixed it. So, what the fuck is happening here? And the music is just forgettable. It's not even forgettable, it's just there. It exists, but it's not very exciting. It just feels like generic background music. This is god-awful. Like, as bad as Naruto vs. Ichigo is, and I hate that I have to keep bringing up Naruto vs. Ichigo because it's one of the all-time perfect examples, much like Goku vs. Superman, of how not to do a death battle. But even then, at least with Naruto vs. Ichigo, at least Death Battle made some custom animation, and there was some style to the animation, and there was a bit of a fast, intense pace to it, I could at least give it that, and when characters got damaged, at least it felt like there was some impact and some cause and effect to when characters got hit, with the exception of Naruto, who took no damage throughout the entire fight, but I'm not going to get into that right now. Like, how? How did this slip by you? Everything about this is terrible. I can't think of one thing, anything positive in this video that works. The editing is very subpar, standard, and boring. The audio isn't really all that great. Like, seriously, fan war, you need to improve your audio. You either need to get a new mic or you need to learn audio enhancement. And you're a bigger YouTuber than me, so you have absolutely no excuse. I mean, I'm smaller than you, and yet I was able to learn audio enhancement and get myself a new mic when I realized that the mic I was using was not sufficient enough for the content I was attempting to make, so I got a new one. Like, just the animation, terrible. There, the attempts at humor, bad, because it just comes down to cringy puns which is basically just painful if you've ever dealt with boomsticks garbage puns. Everything just feels so boring and lifeless. The fight is not really all that interesting. This whole matchup feels like a fucking troll matchup. Like, I'm trying so desperately here, people, to think of anything good. I mean, when I can think of at least one good thing in Naruto vs. Ichigo, but... I can't think of anything good, you know you're in deep shit fan war. You are up shit creek without a paddle fan war. You are paddling through a river of shit with your bare fucking hands fan war. That is where you are at right now. And I am just gonna have to give you a little tough love because I was way too soft on you the other times I talked about you. But the final score for this is a 0 out of 10. This is bad. Really, really fucking bad. Everything about this doesn't work. The matchup doesn't work. The animation and fight is terrible. The sound effects are so generic and basic. Attempts at humor are cringy. The results are absolutely pathetic. The way in which you explain that these characters are equal to each other makes no sense. The way in which you explain Jiren defeats Saitama makes no fucking sense. Like, even though you are technically right that Jiren wins, 
You say he only wins because he's faster and more strategic, even though Jiren should logically win because he would just one-shot Saitama with no fucking effort. You are inconsistent throughout your own analysis. You do no proper power scaling. You provide no breakdown of feats, no calculations, nothing. Like, this should be a wake-up call for you, Fan War, to start improving. You have had your channel for quite some time. I should expect to see some improvements. And now I'm going to have to keep my eye on you and watch you like a hawk like I do with Death Battle. Because the fact that you have produced something this bad when my first time ever reviewing you, I gave you some positive reception. Now you are making me regret ever giving you any kind of positive reception for any past episodes. While I still stand by my points that Sonic.exe vs Red really wasn't that bad, this is a whole new level of failure. Please do not repeat this ever again, fan war. The last thing we need is a death battle 2.0. You also should really stop doing collaborations with Animation Rewind because Animation Rewind's shit is starting to rub off on you. Your channel feels more and more like an Animation Rewind wannabe rather than a true versus debate channel. I'm I'm done. I can't talk about this anymore i might have to just come out of my hiatus because i think i'd much rather be reviewing death bow right now suddenly reviewing the newest death battle doesn't sound so bad right now but what do you guys think is this as bad as i'm making it out to be do you think i should give Fan War a little bit more leeway because he's kind of a smaller YouTuber. He doesn't have as big of a team as Death Battle, so therefore he shouldn't be held to the same level of standards of something like Death Battle. What do you think? And I'll see you guys around next time.